What's up? Uh, so I'm back with a TTM recap. Just one TTM, one card. But then, check this out. I went and did some IP. So yeah, I did some IP uh, Friday after work. A little bit, little bit of a backstory. UFC 225 was in Chicago this past weekend, or yeah, this weekend Saturday. And I've been waiting for the UFC to come back to Chicago. And guess what? Saturday, my son had graduation. So guess what I did? I didn't go. But on Friday, Metro PCS, uh, Thursday actually, Thursday, uh, Chris Weidman, former UFC middleweight champion. The Legend Killer, also known as the All-American. He was an All-American wrestler at Hofstra University. Um, so yeah, Thursday he posted he was coming to coming up to Milwaukee to do a signing. I was like, hey, that's pretty sweet. So it was Friday uh, from 4 to 5. So uh, Thursday night, packed up, rain rounded up all the cards I had of him. Um, even a couple that I've had signed already. But figured maybe I could get some updates because DK, I like to go blue. IP, I like to go blue, and if I was to have a choice, if fighters would sign, I'd wish they would, they would sign in blue. Just looks the best. Black can look facsimile, but black is my second favorite because most oftentimes they have good black sharpies. It's only been a minute and a half. How about that? So, anyways, um, <clears throat> that's what I did. Went up there Friday. Got there like ten minutes early. Chris showed up pretty much right on time. Really, really small crowd in a kind of a bad area. Um, there was sometimes there was more staffers than there was people there uh, for the meet and greet. Little did I know that there was a raffle. So the four o'clock raffle for two tickets. I missed out on that. There was a four thirty raffle and then a five o'clock raffle. I'm thinking if I get tickets, I'm gonna go at night. My wife actually asked me. If I wanted to get tickets and still go down there after the graduation, spend the afternoon there. But when I go down to UFC or when I go to UFC, I like to make a weekend of it. I like to try and meet fighters down at the hotel, um, stay overnight. You know, I don't want to drive down and drive back. So, um, but if I had free tickets, I'd, 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 I'd head down. So the first four o'clock raffle went off and I think the guy was homeless. The ho I think a homeless guy won those tickets or somebody in really rough shape. Uh, that really wasn't sure where they were. Didn't look, did not look like a fan, but hey, it is what it is, right? Because they had like a Metro PCS canopy over the outside of the, um, over the store and stuff like that, so it kind of looked like attractive to see what's going on. So maybe the dude just swung by and he won. 4:30 raffle. I had already met Chris. Two names were pulled. They weren't there. The third time, I'm thinking. I actually joked with him. I said, dude, pull out the folded one. That's mine. He's like, I'm definitely not going to do that. So it was pretty funny. Anyways, uh, he pulls it out and it's, and it's folded in half. I'm like thinking, and he looks at me. And he goes, oh, I know this guy's here. And I'm like thinking, come on. Nope. Ended up being somebody else. But he was a fan, so good for him. Uh, stuck around. I almost went to, almost went, almost left. And I forgot, oh, there's 5 o'clock. So I asked, yeah, there was a 5 o'clock raffle. 5 o'clock raffle goes off. Is anybody here whose name starts with D? There was three people there whose name started with D. And it was a lady. Who was not a UFC fan. She was there like with a kid in a stroller and just... You want to come up? Yeah. Alright. Come here. So, I struck out. No tickets for DK. No tickets. No event. But, oh my goodness. Did you fart? Yeah. Are you stinky? Did you go poop? Did you poop? What's on your shirt? What is that? Uh, Who is that? Uh, is that Elmo? Elmo. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We've had four, five kids. Sorry, five. And this is the first one who's liked Elmo. Thank the Lord the other ones didn't, because it's a pain. Uh, always wants to watch Elmo, right? Yeah. Not to Elmo. And I gotta say, no, Elmo. El Elmo's either sleeping, Elmo's dead. I don't even know. <laughs> I gotta come up with something. Most often, like I say, Elmo's dead, right? Yeah. Is Elmo dead? Say no. No. 
No. All right. But you really smell like poop. So anyways, to the autographs. This is uh, the third promo I got. The first one I got, he he wanted to s sign my name on it. So the first one I got was David. I didn't ask for the All-American inscription. And then the second one I got, I asked for a second one. It was from my buddy Carlo, who was a Weidman, Weidman fan. And then I, when I went back to get a photo redone, uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, D at D double E A K A Y three sixteen, uh, you'll see my face off with him. I did a wrestling face off as if we were gonna wrestle, like uh, amateur wrestling, not WWF or WWE. Uh, and then I took some cards. So when I went up there, <clears throat> I threw down three cards, and then I said, "Hey, I'm gonna go through the line for the rest of them." And he said, "How many you got?" And I said, "Like, <sighs> like six. And he said, "I'll just sign them now." So just the way he looked, I didn't get the inscription on every yeah. single one. Uh, yeah, I wanted to get the inscription All American uh, on all the cards because I'm not a big fan of his C scribble, W uh, scribble. But uh, just the way I didn't feel, I felt like I was going to take too much time up at the table, even though there wasn't many people there. Like I said, maybe 10, you know, with others. Uh, I just didn't do it. So I chickened out. This is an upgrade for my collection. This is a 14 Champions. This one was previously signed. I hope that you can see it. I think I have my brightness on my phone turned way down, but I had him add uh, just the All-American on the bottom. He said he didn't sign that, but my buddy Ken in um, Boston actually got it done in person and had a video of him signing it. So he did short sign it for somebody. This is a um, in, this is a parallel in the 15 Chronicles okay. of him being the legend killer, yeah. knocking out Anderson Silva. Here's a ground and pound picture of him. Ground and pounding Anderson Silva in that same fight. Him with the belt. You've seen some of these. He's been signing recently. You've probably seen in my last three videos. I've gotten his return. And I mentioned that to him. He said, did I sign for you? I said, yeah, you did, thankfully. So these were some of the better ones. Some of the first three that I threw down. That green one. And then there's this Bloodlines insert. I really wanted the All-American inscription on this one. Because there's a lot of space. I thought it would look cool with that flag. Uh, 14 knockout. And then lastly, I didn't even know I had this card. I found, I found it actually up there on the shelf. Uh, this is some kind of a matte relic. So sign that one nicely. And then one TTM. And that was uh, Johnny Hollywood Case. I wasn't planning on getting him again. But when I was buying cards to send him to keep, um, I saw he had this 17 knockout that I didn't have done yet. So I got that done. And uh, he was really cool. I just wanted to send him some cards because he had signed for me two times and then I asked him if he had cards of his own to keep. He said he didn't actually, even though he had signed for tops uh, for certified autos. So I just rounded up some cards. I think I bought four or five of them off CUMC. Sent them down, including that one, and uh, that was that. So pretty much covered that signing. There wasn't anything else. Um, I did see a guy from the TTM MMA group made it down there from Madison, which was about a... It's supposed to be like an 80 minute drive. I think he made it in about an hour because dude was flying. He uh, had an old uh, Chris Wyman fight camp t-shirt and then he got some promos done. So Patrick, what's up? Good to meet you. And then uh, just made contact with three other guys who train in Milwaukee, just fans, but they train over at um, a gym here in Milwaukee. So followed one of those guys on Instagram. So made some contacts there too. And they are actually going, they actually went to the fight Saturday. So they had a good time. Great fights. I wish Yoel Romero would have got that decision over Whitaker, and I'm super happy that Colby Covington's won. Colby Covington. Uh, he's kind of like the new bad guy. So that's that. I'm glad I got this video to upload, and I can go change Josh's diaper, right? Am I going to change your diaper? Yeah. All right. Say bye. Bye. See ya.